Hey guys, it's Ms. Burb, and today is the last part of the live stream that I will be putting as a separate video on the channel. This is the Q&A that you all asked for in the poll I did, asking you guys what you wanted me to do for the 5,000 subscriber special. Uh, the winner was the live stream Q&A. So here it is, live stream Q&A. I also did it with PB, so you get to see also her answers. And uh, so next week we're gonna go back to regular content. And I hope to see you guys there. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Thank you. So everybody wanted us to do the Q&A. Honestly, I probably, I probably should have asked on Twitter for people to send us their, oh. their questions in ahead of time. But uh, when we ask them, please send them out ahead of time. Well, I mean, I, I, if, I was, if I was a show creator, I would probably be like him, like, just <laughs> be quiet, sit down, and wait. <laughs> yes. I'd probably even be rude with that, but no, I, I wouldn't have the courage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Bird, you've been really quiet. Oh, such a good bird. Um, he is. So, do you have any last? I was gonna move on to the Q and A. So, uh, we can move on. It's yeah. Fine. Do you have anything else? Last minute things to say? Mm, I don't know. I always blank. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm looking forward to what the show has, and yes, I, definitely. I think the Queen's Battle will be really, really good. And I'm looking forward to. I think Reverse we love you, or... Thomas. So now, um, let's move on to Q&A. &A. So if you guys have any questions to ask me, to ask PB, to ask my bird. Um, he might not answer. He might not answer, I'm sorry. I don't have a translator here. <laughs> but um, any questions you guys have, uh, now is the time to if ask you, us. Are you yes. a Harry Potter fan? Oh my god. Yes, I am. Huge Harry Potter nerd. I've read the books several times. I don't want to reveal how many. <laughs> Hi, Chloe May. Um, I I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I don't read the books. So. Yeah, I'm like a book nerd in general. So, yeah. well, I hope you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the I'm in the literature program, and I'm not a book nerd. No, but. no, that's it. I I really hope. Yes. Oh. Uh, yes, I like Harry Potter, but uh, thanks, yeah. Chloe. Um, Mr. Bird. My birds go quiet when I'm talking. I think he, I don't know, he might tweet at the beginning, but now he's like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna sit here <laughs> and watch. Maybe he just yeah. likes looking at you. And the correct spelling, he, Mr. Bird, okay, I was trying to be, like, edgy. Yeah. And Mr. Bird, his name is B-Y-R-D. Okay. I, I, I knew what I was doing, okay, don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm just, I think it's cute. So... Uh, Ch Wait. Chaban TMNT lover. Are you looking forward to the Miraculous movie? Oh, I, true. Uh, the, the, miraculous, the Miraculous movie. Honestly, okay, I am, um, I want to make a, I told you about, I want to make a fake trailer. Yeah. Oh. I wanna, you didn't tell me about that. I did? Okay. No, no, no but no, I want you... to, I want to cosplay as, as Marinette, <laughs> and I want to, like, do, um, I, I, I want to do, like, a, a fake Miraculous Ladybug trailer. Mm -hmm. I, I've been thinking about it. I, I've been like, okay, what what yeah. what would it look like? Honestly, I've been thinking, like, what would my ideal Miraculous Ladybug movie be like? Yeah. So I've been, like, thinking about all these different things. Um, so I honestly, like, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about that. And I, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do now, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's just, I, I don't know how I'm going to, like, there's so many characters. Yes. And, um, and I think one important character to have would be Alia. Yes, and an like, and maybe an Asian or something, but <laughs> that's the thing. Cause I mean, Alia, she's like black or something. Yeah, she's she's, she's dark. Skin. Where where is she from again? She's from like Sinicat or something. I don't. I gotta look it up. Wait, there's a lot of questions. Let me go back. Yeah. Oh oh she Hufflepuff. Oh, wait, cause <laughs> she she asked what which um Howard's house are you in? Okay yeah yeah yeah. Um, I'm a I'm a Ravenclaw. A proud and out Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw, oh boy. There's not many Ravenclaws. She is Famous, at from... least. Oh, wait. But I like Hufflepuff. Oh, hi, Chloe May. She said hi, PB. I'm like, hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw her before. Um, Wait. Yeah. See? So, Why yes, but if, if it comes out, if a Miraculous Ladybug co movie comes out, I am in theaters. Absolutely. Um, I think it's Lionsgate that's making it, right? I hope it's good. I hope they, I hope they don't I hope it doesn't become the last Airbender. If I'm was. not mistaken, they also made the Hunger Games movies, so those weren't that bad. 
there's a lot of stuff that I was like, you could have done this better. But in general, I think they were, like, they were fun. I, they had most of the main elements. Uh, so. I hope they flesh out the characters a lot more. Like, I hope mm. they they make it interesting and. I, I'm worried. I, I'm personally, I'm, I'm very worried, but... There was one poster, though, right? And it was kind of dark and... Yeah, that's it. So that... I'm like, and she looks that, old. Yeah, that's she not the She looks very vibe. old. <laughs> like, well, maybe maybe it's just, like, a, a replacement. Like, maybe it's not the actual actress, mm-hmm. but we'll see. So, okay, um... We need to go down, I think. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm, I was trying to find uh, where she's from. She is... Uh, where is Alia from? Uh, I'm on the, the wiki. The fandom wiki. Martinique. Martinique. I don't know how do you pronounce that. Mm. I don't... I could yeah. be Baltino. <laughs> Martinique. Anyway. um, What other questions are there? So, what is your Harry Potter house? Well, she said, hi, are you looking forward to Marcus Ladybug? Yes. Do you like Ladybug or Cat Noir? Both. <laughs> <laughs> both of them are, both of them have, like, I don't know, I think I prefer Cat Noir. Yeah. Personally. Okay. But, and his, yeah. Why did you start YouTube? I started YouTube because I've been wanting to do YouTube for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, my inspiration for YouTube is Jacksepticeye. I don't know. You don't? I rarely you don't watch, know the great Jackson. I rarely watch YouTube. I don't even have a YouTube channel, so this is like all I do. Okay, <laughs> the, the only you just like just like I, I talk all to I you watch all are the time. like book reviews <laughs> on YouTube. That's that's all. That's all. That's all my knowledge of YouTube. But I started YouTube. I know I wanted to do YouTube for a long time. I didn't even know what I wanted to do on YouTube. Okay, but um. I don't know. I'm I'm happy kind of with what I'm doing now. I want to branch out more than just mm-hmm. miraculous ladybug though, but um, I'm I'm fine doing. You can this. do it though, because I mean, when we were doing one of the episode reviews, you mentioned Ninjago, and someone was like, "Oh, you're a Ninjago fan." Yeah, oh, I did. I did a couple, um, like the yeah. like the new uh, do do you need a reminder of such and such mm-hmm. character? I did one on Ninjago too. Oh, actually. cool. Yeah. So and I have a, I have and it. I have a Ninjago movie review coming out, and I was also I'm rewatching The Last Airbender partly because I want to, but mm-hmm. also I'm gonna try to see if I can make some content on that too. Mm-hmm. I know you guys aren't as interested in it, and I'm gonna keep making Miraculous Ladybug content. I don't want to like, like discard it. Yes, I know that's what you guys want to see, so I'm I'm still gonna make it. But, um. Okay. So so yeah, so I I I do YouTube. I'm also a cinema student, so mm-hmm. I want to like. When I do, when I, I want to make the Miraculous Ladybug trailer, it's also going to be, like, me working on my cinema skills in general. It, it could also be part of your portfolio. Yeah, also as a portfolio on. and stuff, so, um, yeah. The other reason is I really want to cosplay Marinette. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Why did you start to, do you ever put your bird on your shoulder? Uh, he doesn't, he's not a big fan of my shoulder. He likes feet. My bird likes feet, and he'll, like, you can watch TV, and he'll just, like, sit on your foot. That's cute. <laughs> as long as he doesn't poop. <laughs> Adrian or Chanel? Chanel. No. Mm, I feel like I would go Adrian. What? Because, <laughs> because that's the kind of character that I like. Because, like, the sweet boy, right? Although, yeah, he's the same guy, but he's, like, more mischievous at Cass as the Chanel, so I guess he's better. So. I also like he's mischievous better. guys. I don't know. <laughs> It's the same person. <laughs> um, favorite food? Ramen. Mm, this ramen. is hard. I would, I always go, like, spaghetti with meatballs, but then... Really? But then I get tired of it, so it's not really my favorite food. It's just... But good spaghetti. When I have it, it's, like, so good, but I don't want it too often, so it's not my favorite food. I like my mom's spaghetti, but I don't... I think I'm scared of it. I like... I like, um, tamales. Tamales? Yeah, the Mexican food, tamales. I feel like I've heard that before. It's like, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it <laughs> in English. I've forgotten all my words, but yeah. Do it in French, let's go. <laughs> no. I, it's even worse. No, okay. It's, in French. it's like you, yeah, you put like a filling, it can be like chicken or meat or beans or whatever, and you wrap it in this dough, and then you wrap it in either, um... I think it's a banana um, skin or a corn skin. or corn. We 
usually do corn. So it's a and then you like boil it. I don't know. It's really good. I like so it. So it's like a burrito. I don't know um, what a burrito, but it's like it's, it, I, I I think it's like I, spring I guess rolls. The way the way that it's the way that it's I guess the format somehow, but it's not cooked the same way at all. I'm yeah. like, how do I explain food? Um, <laughs> okay, but, yeah. but it sounds like I don't know. It sounds like a spring roll type of thing, like where you like deep fry. Wait, it I can show you a picture of <laughs> what I'm talking about. Um. People so favorite are, food, but yeah, I like I like ramen and chocolate milk, especially the chocolate milk in Quebec. Okay, is really good, like especially like kibble brand. But <laughs> I like my favorite food is ramen. I went to Japan. Okay, like on Ooh. the connecting flight, I was in Japan and I got ramen. Okay, ramen is good. Yes. Um. Okay. I, I always thought Mr. Bird was your husband. <laughs> Mr. Bird, are you my husband? <laughs> no. Okay. Honestly, when I. After a while, I was like, okay, shoot. By making my name Miss Burb on YouTube, I don't even remember why I named myself Miss Burb. I, one, it sounds like Mr. Bird is my husband. <laughs> Two, um, there's, one of my, one of my favorite YouTube channels is, uh, uh, Random Encounters. They make musicals on video games. And one of the people, yeah, it's really good. Super catchy. But one of the, uh, people that, well, she doesn't work with them anymore, like, they refer to her as Miss Bird, so I'm like, ah, I, oh. that's so not good. It's too similar. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do like pineapple on pizza. What about you guys? Can somebody ban this guy? Oh, so I'm clicking the wrong way. Oh, I don't like pineapple on my pizza. Ban him. But ban I'm- him. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's. But I mean, you can keep your opinions to yourself, we'll be fine. In general, I'm a somewhat peak eater sometimes, so maybe that's why. Uh, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is How to Train Your Dragon. I don't know. It's too hard. There's too many movies. <sighs> too many movies. Too many movies. But yeah, I really like How I'm to Train like, Your Dragon. Oh, I love that movie. Um, let's do animated movie. What's your favorite animated movie? I mean, yours. I only like animated yeah. movies. <laughs> exactly, but easier for me to say. Okay, fine. Um, animated movie then. Either Inside Out or Zootopia, I think, or like Zootopia is really good. Inside Out, I think I watched too many teasers. That's um, that's one that might have been the movie that actually started me on the whole. I don't like trailers, okay. like too many trailers, because then it like ruins it for you. Like I went to go watch it in theaters, and I'm like, ugh. I was so excited for it, but it, I don't oh, know. It was, just, it exceeded my expectations in so many really? levels. Okay. The animation, like the little... The particle effects the particle was really cool. The particle effects though. and yeah. the storyline and just... Oh, I just really loved it. <laughs> and also, Bing Bong. My oh, yeah. God. No, Bing Bong. Okay, it was... I didn't like Bing Bong. <gasps> and then he died and I'm just like... Oh, God, I cried. <laughs> no. I didn't... No. But yeah, I, I really like How to Train Your Dragon. The first one, not the second one. Everybody likes the second one better for some reason, oh, but no. I like the first one better. The first one's the best. It's yeah, first one's the, the best. OG. <laughs> the OG. The OG. I hate that I'm um, saying that. All right. Do you like anime? If so, which ones do you watch? Do you watch anime? I, Mr. Bird. Ooh. He just knocked down my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, I don't watch anime. You don't watch anime? No. At all? I don't know. I mean, I used to... Does Yu-Gi-Oh count? Not really, right? Does Yu-Gi-Oh count? I think so. Because <laughs> I used to watch that. <laughs> I think so, but is that like your favorite? Or no. Well, no, I they weren't know. asking. Like they're just like if you like anime, okay. which ones do you watch? I watch My Hero Academia. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, everybody likes My Hero Academia. There is nobody that cannot like My Hero Academia. Okay, it's the best. Um, the most I I, I like ca- I caught up on like the recent like last three episodes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Um, I also, I really, really like assassina- Assassination Class. Is um, that with the octopus? No. Yes, it's yes. with, like, the yellow, okay. I remember. Like, I'm not for the whole killing thing, but they never actually kill anybody in this show. <laughs> but, like, oh, oh, and then, like, the ending, I was hardcore crying, okay. Oh. Oh, man. Um, are you excited for the next episode? Yes. Yes, very Bring much. it on. Um, relating to earlier, I just read an article that says Alias Fallon may origin from the French island of Martinique. Okay, so yeah. it's a French island. I'm not... Uh, In the Caribbean. So, yeah. But, yeah, I think everybody's... I, it was, like, confirmed on Twitter that it was Martinique. So, mm-hmm. I think everybody's okay with that. Galactic Unifan says, I love random encounters. There are... They are really, really... They're really, really cool. Um, I like... Uh... I like...
like I enjoy like the FNAF musicals. Um, there's the FNAF ones. There's Doki Doki Literature Club. I that's really catchy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you have to watch it. I now command you to watch it. TV. Okay. Uh, question: Do you like Stranger Things? I have not watched Stranger Things. I like it very very much. I love what they've done with Steve. I think his character arc. It's very well done, and it's very fun to watch, and I'm just happy they kept him along for the second season. Hope he's gonna keep there. For the Why? Because he killed a lot of people? That's no, no, it's just in the first season he was dating this other character, Nancy, and he wasn't the greatest boyfriend. Okay. And, like, everybody was, like, hating on him and shipping Nancy with someone else. But then in the second season, he kind of, they break up, but he kind of, spoiler alert, <laughs> but he kind of gets redeemed. And so he grows into a better person, and he realizes his mistakes, and he kind of tries to okay. fix them. And so I like that. Spoiler alert! Woo woo! So sorry. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I haven't watched it. So some Chloe may asked, "What is your favorite ship?" Okay, favorite ship within the show or in general? Because in that's life. way too hard. In life. <laughs> I ship too many stuff. That's not. It's not natural. Okay, let's let's just go for the miraculous ladybug. Show. For ladybug. Yeah. My, if I okay, here's the thing. I don't like the way love is portrayed in media. Mm-hmm. I really I don't. I find that like okay. Here's the thing. I don't like live action stuff. I really like mm-hmm. animated stuff, which is why my channel is very much. Yeah, Chloe May just said it's based on the show. Yes. Um, I like stuff based. I like animated stuff, and I find that, like, I don't know, I hate watching real live-action <laughs> love tr- love stuff. It's so... Most ugh. of the time, it's quite annoying. Ah. So, I, I don't like it, so I just... So, I like animated stuff. In animated stuff, I can tolerate the love a lot better. Okay. Like, in Miraculous Ladybug, I'm okay with the whole love thing, mm-hmm. and... But that's it. If I was to go for a love triangle, uh, like, a, a love ship, it would be, um... Marinette and Cat Noir. Yes, because, I agree. Because they are not the whole lovey-dovey thing I think at that point. like, the healthiest because they don't have any expectations yes. for each other, right? That's it. And the, it's the best one also because they, there's no expectations, so they're being yeah. themselves. So, to me, that's what I like. But honestly, yes. they're the exact same people, so Adrian Like, and- it's cute <laughs> either way, but I think I agree with you, Marinette and Cat, because it's, it's the healthiest, and I think it's where they have the most place to grow, yeah. And get to know the real selves. Yeah, they're 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 real selves at that point. So I think that's the best one. But yeah. Chloe Bay also said, What is favorite ship in life? <laughs> <laughs> favorite I don't think I don't know, life. man. I, I ship, don't know. Ship Mr. Bird at my shoulder. <laughs> right, Mr. Bird, you're gonna come up on me now? No? Okay. I don't know. Ship in life is too hard, I give up. Yes, everybody's happy, Maddie. Mary <laughs> Mary Ch- yes. Um, oh, okay, somebody else loved, liked your Steve. Steve is best, Mom. Yes. Haven't watched it yet, no spoilers. Well, too bad. <laughs> so sorry. Forgive us. <laughs> or me. Thoughts on Incredibles 2. Ooh. Bow. <laughs> okay. Bow down to Bradford. Okay, we both, we, w- we both went to go see it together. Yes. Okay. Did you go see it with your brother after? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, the it's thing different. is, okay, I want to hear your thoughts on Bao, please. On Bao? Yeah, the short. Oh, the little short. Yes. I liked it. Yeah. I think um, it was, like, new for Disney to make something so, like, out there, I guess, compared to all of the other... But what in what sense? I want to know. Like, in the sense that it's more, more diverse, I think, because okay. before their shorts were, like, weren't that diverse, and I think I okay. liked that, and especially because it was... Partly Canadian. Was yeah, like, it was yeah. partly Canadian. It's like, shout out, it's from Toronto, woo! But, um, oh. the reason, okay, one thing is because the short, uh, we'll, we'll get to the Incredibles, okay, but I have to talk about Bao. Also, <laughs> be careful, because spoilers. Oh, shoot, the spoilers. There's spoilers. Oh. Okay. Yes, that's okay, why I'm gonna, I was like, okay, I'm not I'm gonna, gonna do it. I'm gonna do it without spoilers, because it's really important. I really want people to watch it, okay? But the thing is, is that Bao, it... Bao directly t- it talks about Asian American families, mm-hmm. and when I went when we went to go see in theaters, I was crying. Okay, and it relates so hard to like Asian families, half Asian families. Well, more I think 
more like Asian, straight up Asian families, because, um, but I was, like, even, okay, without the whole Asian American, like, part of it, it's still really, really cute. Yeah. With the, ama- with the Asian American part of it, it was really, really good, because it, it portrays something, I guess, that, I don't know, I haven't seen anybody talk about, and it's just really important, it was really heart-wrenching, I was in shock at the twist. <laughs> And I just... If you've seen it, you know what we mean. Yeah, and I, I could... I, I can relate to it. And it's... It's it's really... It was really good. I, I don't know. My words aren't really good right now. But it's... You have to see it, okay? I, lo- I also love the way it all comes together in the end. Yes. The way... Because it, it's... And it, they don't speak at all, right? They don't speak at all. They don't so, speak at all. And it's so... I also love that part. Because I took a script... A script... Script... A script Correct. writing class once, and my teacher said that sometimes the most powerful scenes are the ones where, like... No words are spoken. Exactly, no yeah. words are spoken. My, I'm a big fan of no words spoken. Yes. And like, I think that's what makes it so great, because there's a lot of tension, a lot of stuff, like, charged into the story, right? Yeah. And they can tell it all so clearly and so, like, emotionally captivating without using words, and I think that's amazing. It's, I, like, as a cinema student, I have, I've made stuff, and at least, what, two on three has, there's no words in it, and I really, I, 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 I I like, I don't know, it's better. I, Mm. I hate live action stuff, but no words (laughs) is always better, okay? But, um, do not spoil, yeah, okay, no spoilers for Incredibles 2 either, okay? So let's move on to Incredibles 2. It was, I think my, the criticism everybody has is the villain. The villain is sort of weak. To, uh, some people, they, they really could not connect at all with the villain. I kind of got it. I understood what the villain was going for. Yeah. I, I understood the villain's motivation. Yeah. Although... I, that's it. Some people, they didn't, they, they didn't like it, though. I got it. I, I, th- I thought it was good, yeah. I think part of, the th- part of the villain's motivation is explained on a scene where the audio is, like, on the background. So if you weren't listening to that, you oh, might yeah, not yeah, yeah, have yeah. gotten it as well. So I think that's part of the issue. But I understood it perfectly. I kind of, like, I didn't agree with what, what with the bill what, with what the villain was doing. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah. um, but I understood where the villain was coming. That's from. That's it. The rest of the movie, I had so much fun. I don't know if I was squirming too much yeah, when you were watching no, it. it was, but it was, it, it was. It's a really, really fun I didn't movie. Even notice. I was but the like, plot is not that. Yeah, the plot itself is eh. But like, it's a fun movie. Um, it's creepy at times, which is really good, too. It's good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, I, I think go watch it. Just, just go. Uh, hi, Mystery Gamer. Welcome to the stream. Um, wait, I think with the plot of The Incredibles, too, it's somewhat similar to the first movie, like, in the fact that... It's uh, somebody that's upset of, at supers. Yeah. Again. But the thing that I like is that they do this, like, parallels of, like, first is Bob going yeah. and doing the job but I then it's Hel- Helen right and so I really like I did, did like the switch in the narrative and they let the characters expand in different environments where they're kind of out of their comfort zones it's okay can we talk about the animation and the action scene of Elastigirl okay not not gonna say but you know what I'm talking about Elastigirl uh, when, in like her her first like public appearance or something yes oh, she's so cute Ew. okay but like no sorry I'm totally unrelated you guys can't see this but, like, the, the, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, when yeah, she makes yeah, a public, yeah. the animation and the action in that was so good! Like, in, okay, Elastigirl in this, her, her, the use of her elasticity is amazing. Oh. Okay? It's so good. It's, it's really well used. And it's so clever. It's so amazing, okay? Like, you know, like, the Fantastic Four when they yes. have, like, uh, Mr. Fantastic? Yeah. They have restrictions. They can't pull it off as well, right? Yeah. This, it's pulled off so well, like, not just in the way it's animated, but, like, in what they do with it. It's mm-hmm. really good, okay? It is. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'm like, ah, oh, it's so good. Um, Chloe may ask, who is your favorite YouTuber apart from you? Oh, <laughs> my favorite YouTuber is me, what? <laughs> um, my favorite. Well, maybe I might say you, right? Because I'm the only one you know. <laughs> um... My favorite YouTuber, like I really enjoy Random Encounters. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I also really enjoy uh, Jack Seth, the guy. I saw him in Toronto when he came for the live show. Now he's coming to Montreal. Oh. Yeah, and I'm like, I spent good money trying to get to Toronto. Now he's he's coming yeah, right man. next door. So yeah, sad. Anyway, but um, I really like uh, Jack Mm-hmm. Uh, I also these days I've been watching a lot of Nostalgia Critic, um, and I also watch Cinema Sims. Mm. So yeah. Um, for me, it's Poland, Poland bananas books, and I guess Jesse the reader. See, they're okay. all book related. <laughs> they're all book related. I don't watch too much more than that. Um, so yes, yes. Thanks, Jeremy, Mickey. We need. I. Everybody needs a little bit more Jacks of the guy in their life. Um, Has this stream really been live for an hour? Yes. Apparently so. Yes. Apparently, I go. Um, Jimmy, Mickey just saw Bao. Yeah, said Bao is amazing. Okay. Man. Uh, favorite dessert. I feel like there's a question in this somewhere. Well. Maybe. Uh, okay. But favorite dessert. I don't I, I don't like dessert. Whenever I go to a birthday party, I don't eat the cake. And then everybody's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Me, it depends on the flavor. You know, I love ice cream. I love I love all things sweet. Yeah. So I love ice cream. I oh, love really? okay. cake. I love chocolate. I love, I love, I love dessert. Now I have the urge to go to Dairy Queen. Do you want to go to Dairy Queen after? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had Dairy Queen in like three weeks. I'm on a withdrawal. <laughs> we can go sure. but i i like ice cream too like i guess my favorite dessert, dessert is ice cream yeah. or like brownies but like um, not any brownies but just brownies yeah. yeah normal brownies but yeah i'm not a huge fan of sweets in general so i'm really really weird for me i guess a uh, flan it's it's like yeah <laughs> i'm like i'm not gonna even bother <laughs> explaining it <laughs> just <laughs> look it up culture yes Memes are dank. What do you think is my favorite animal? I I want to hear all of your honest opinions. <laughs> what do you think my favorite <laughs> animal is? No, I like birds. I like birds. Birds are for, the best. For me, it's pandas. They're just pandas. so darn cute. Pandas are really good too. And though. like the way they roll down. Have you seen those videos of them like in playgrounds, just sliding down? Maybe I haven't seen slides. as many as I should have. Maybe I should see them. Oh, they're great. Like, every time there's a video of pandas on Facebook, like, my family members are like, hi, look at this. <laughs> Man. But, like, I like watching bird videos, but, yeah, pandas are pretty good. Cats are always good. Cats oh, are always the back. Cats, cats' videos are always amazing. Uh, has anyone yeah. played Doki Doki? I have not played Doki Doki, but I've seen, like, I've seen a little bit. I feel bad for asking, but what's Doki Doki? It's called Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, But it's, my. like... I feel like maybe, I should. I yeah, should, maybe you should play. I it. should. I should if it's called Literature Club. Yeah, but it's like this. It's like this dating. It's oh. okay. It plays itself as almost a dating simulator, but okay. it's not, and it turns into like a horror game. Almost, oh, a horror bit. game. Yeah, I'm a scaredy cat. So yeah, I yeah, might, me too. <laughs> I might sit that one out. Uh, uh, it took me a half hour to find out how to delete. Well, you know, but I haven't played it. I just watch like streamers or whatever. Wait, um, do you like Afmao? Is that how you pronounce it? What's Afmao? Oh, that was a question. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. Yeah. What is Afmao? Is that is that's a YouTuber? I think. Oh. I would think. Afmao. There's some people that were like, "Oh, you sound like Jaden Animations." Somebody was like, "You sound like Jaden Animations or whatever." If this is a, oh, this sounds. This is a gamer, I suppose. Mm. She looks really cute though. But well, no, I, I do not know who that is. That even spoke. we cannot say if we like Afma or not because we have not seen their videos. Yeah. So, hey, I have a question to you. Do you possibly have any ML spoilers? I so like sometimes people they uh, they like they're like, hey, tell me what's gonna happen in the future episodes, and I'm like, I, I I'm if not I'm knew. not I'm not Thomas Astrick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, oh wow! Well. I wish I knew, but yeah. also not because then I'd like to be surprised. I, I like to be surprised too. I think I I really really like surprises. So, but I don't know stuff. I have um, I have another theory video. Like I, I know everybody loves theories, and I, I have another theory video coming up. I have the script pretty much done. Um, so I'm not sure when it's gonna come out though, because I want to put out all these videos and stuff. 
And, um, but yeah, I have another theory, and it's on, it's kind of a follow-up on my last one, which was on identities. It was on, what was that video on again? I can't remember. It was on, it was on the masks and oh. how I think costumes work and everything. It was, um, yeah, it was on that one. So it's kind of, it's not really a follow-up, but you can kind of tie it mm -hmm. in anyway. Chloe may ask, what is your favorite episode so far? Um, Ooh. I already made, I already made a top five MLB season one episodes. But that I, that didn't include season two. I I, th I would have to look at the list of episodes. I like um, well that was just the top five best. It wasn't my favorite necessarily, but um, uh, I think I really like Mr. Pigeon, like mm -hmm. the episode because just of the villain. He's one of my favorite villains. Yeah. Kung Fu, I like because I explained it all it already. But like just recap, I like it because. It ties into um, Asian, like, your Asian heritage and how Marinette treats it, which is really mm -hmm. important for me. So that's, uh, that was, I, I like that episode. Um, I think season two, though, has in general better, better episodes. Yeah. My favorite episode of season two. I um, think, wait, can I say for me season one? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah um, it could be anything. I think for me, I really like uh, how Evil Illustrator how do you pronounce that? Evil, evil illustrator, yeah, 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 yeah. Illustrator. Evil illustrator is a yeah. That was a pretty good episode. Because too. I just love Nathaniel, and I think, I think we got some tomato boy action there. So that's nice. I'm just looking. I'm I'm gonna like look up a list of. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was. I liked the birth of Ladybug part one and part two. You know, like the origins. Origins episode. I mean, that's always a classic, right? Yes. Um. Um. I like Zombie Zoo. <laughs> zombie Zoo. I, I'm not a fan of zombies, so I can't say that's my favorite episode. It, but that was that my, was a, that was a good one. Though, it's yeah. not my favorite either, but I really liked it. Um, I. I don't it know. might be Dark Owl. I don't know. Oh yes, Dark, Dark Owl is pretty good. Gorzilla is also a pretty good one. So Oof. I'm not sure. It's so hard because you're looking at the list and you're like, oh, this one, and then you're like, know. wait, but this one. Mr. Pigeon might actually be my favorite overall episode. Oh. Because, I don't know, I, I love Mr. Pigeon. <laughs> he, he's voiced by Todd Havercourt. How can you not love him? <laughs> um, Favorite villain, season two. I really like Dark Owl. <laughs> um, um, Dark Owl was pretty good. He was like yes. a Batman kind of person. Uh, like Set But See was also pretty good. Oh, like the Alias siblings? Yeah, Alias siblings was pretty good. Definitely. Glaciator, no, Glaciator wasn't a good, I'm just, no, I was just looking. Mm. Glaciator has Marisha, that's why it's my favorite. Uh, that's, I'm not a huge sucker for love stuff, right? So it's not, that's why it isn't, but I can, I can see why yeah. Marisha would be high on the best episodes. Mm -hmm. Do people tell you Miraculous is a baby show? Um, no. No. I haven't gotten that yet. I personally think I personally I personally think that the show has flaws, so I would understand people mm -hmm. not liking it. I have one of my friends say that oh, it's, you know, it, I think he didn't like it because it was very uh, off, off You know, it was oh. how do you say that in English? Childish. Yeah, childish. Childish is the word. So I can see that. I think he saw the bubbler. Oh. That's like the worst episode to oh. start off with. <laughs> Honestly, if I was to tell somebody which episodes to watch first, I would tell you tell you to watch. Um, Watch, like, Origins, and then just cut straight to season two. And then once you're craving more Miraculous, watch season one to, like, just fill you in. <laughs> like, honestly. Um, whoa, dude, thank you. I love you, too. Um, yes, Top Hardcorn is a bird. I thought it was because birds. Okay. Honestly, even without the birds, Mr. Pigeon is awesome. <laughs> honestly. But, yes, there are birds in that episode, too. Uh, oh. do tell people, yeah, it's, Okay. But, um... I feel like we might have missed something. Did we? I don't know. Do you wanna? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, you can touch it. <laughs> um, so, okay, I think... Uh, yeah, so maybe we should wrap up the Q&A. If not, it's gonna go on forever. Nobody's gonna watch this afterwards. Oh. So, um, if you guys have any other questions, you can always, like, ask me on Twitter or on Discord. And I will probably answer them. I don't... Why, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Or we could do like a fire rapid questions, like yes or no answers, kind of. Oh, I don't think, well, I, I think we've gone on, I, I don't know. We're just kind of know. killing time right now and we're just talking. But you guys can always talk to me on Discord, so. <laughs> apples or oranges? <laughs> apples for me. Yeah, apples. 
so you all aren't super into the whole ship thing. No, I'm not. I'm not one of those... I'm not one of those hyper shipper people. Uh, hyper I, shippers. I am. I am. I am. I usually try to pretend like I'm not because then people look at me weird. Um, especially when like I start talking about the ship and I'm like, oh my god, but look at this. And they looked at each other. And they look. That's it. When people start like, but they, they looked at each other. I'm just like, yes. They smile like, like towards the, human, the other. Like human beings, they actually looked at each other. So, but I, I'm not. I guess I guess you are. Yeah. yeah but, well, it depends, obviously, if they have chemistry or whatnot. But uh, Doodlepuff says do. only villains. I don't understand that question. So maybe you can elaborate. Yes, please. Pizza or fried chicken? Um, pizza. Pizza. Yeah, pizza. Hi, El em Emilia, Puddle. Puddle. Hello. Hi. That's a really cool name, actually. Puddle. I don't ship Luca and Marinette. Thank no, you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank I you. agree. Wholeheartedly, Luca yes. can just go date someone else. He can go on that ship <laughs> and leave. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. I I, I recently en experienced fried chicken. I don't know, and I really enjoyed it for some reason. All of a sudden. Me, it depends where I get the fried chicken. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes not that good. Doodlepuff says that they only watch the show because they looked at each other for the ships. <laughs> but fine, whatever. <laughs> What would you do if birds didn't exist? Then, I'm allergic to cats, so I would die. So I can't have a cat. I would get a chicken. But or a, duck. a chicken's a bird. Yeah, but it's not a bird. It's a chicken. So I would get, like, I okay. don't know. <laughs> sure. Aren't you excited for the reveal? Which reveal? Senpai. Like, I, I think they mean, like, when Ladybug and Cat, like, reveal their identities to each other. Ah, oh, then we can all cry. <laughs> I don't know. I, the, then I'd probably do I'm an episode react. Excited but anxious. Very anxious. I don't know. I don't know how long they're gonna draw it out. Like, yeah. If they draw it out for too long, but then they have to. They, they need a new mystery then. But uh, all that good stuff. 